Good morning and welcome to Great Day Washington. What a great day indeed. Mm -hmm. I'm Ellen Bryan yes. with Kristen Brissett Harris and Mary Marshall celebrating this morning. I know, waking up winners. Big That's Curly right. W. Our Nationals, they have a one to nothing lead in the World Series. The Nats won their first World Series game ever ever last night, beating Houston Astros 5-4. to four. It wasn't an easy one, though, was it? It was not easy. We didn't see the top performance out of Max Scherzer that we needed to. The Astros got out to an early 2-0 lead in the first inning as Julie uh, Curiel hit a two-run double. Not what the way we wanted to get started, but the Nats came storming back thanks to home runs. By the Nats' first ever draft pick, Ryan Zimmerman and Juan Soto. Then in the fifth inning, it was Soto playing hero once again. Let's take a listen to that. Runner at first will go. That's Rendon. That's well hit into left field. Back and off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Rendon. He'll score two. I love the sound from the Nats oh, fans that are in Houston. Soto, who is just 20 years old, wow. was the star of the game. Look at the baby shark there. <laughs> three hits, three RBIs. Things got a little scary late in the game as the Astros cut the lead to 5-4, to four, but the bullpen held on. Nats don't have much time to celebrate, though. Game two is tonight at 8.07. I love that. Congrats, right, guys. Well, back here in D.C., Nats Park was packed with fans for last night's watch party, and the fans had plenty to cheer about. We caught up with some of them after the big win. I'm freaking out right now. Why are you freaking out? Well, because I have been waiting 15 years for this. This is the most amazing thing. Nats in the World Series. It's the first World Series I've cared about for a long time. We just won game one. I know we did against the Astros in their house. This is amazing. Aww. It really is. All right. Well, Nats fans will be back at Nats Park again for another watch party tonight. We're going to actually take a look at the forecast for that later on. All right. Our own photojournalist, Dave, who we yeah. love, and also our Get Up DC host, Reese Waters, they have been having a ball in Houston. <laughs> yes. They literally got a taste of Minute Maid Park. Take a look. Half the fun of baseball is the ballpark food. The other half, well, baseball. And at Minute Maid Park, Head chef Jimmy Coatsworth gets to combine the two. I haven't slept in a couple days, man. That's all I can think about is, you know, feeding the fans, feeding the ball players, feeding the staff. Uh, that's, the, that's the number one focus right now. He's expected to serve over 5,000 hot dogs, 3,000 nachos, and over 2,000 burgers during the World Series. Besides those ballpark staples, he has some creative dishes with a hint of H-Town that's sure to be an extra base hit. For the Nationals, we hope. We have long bone beef ribs, we have lobster corn dogs, we have your regular corn dogs, we got Shea Prime Rib Sandwich, we, we, we got it all around here. So for the folks headed down to cheer for our Nats, they can expect authentic Texas cuisine. We're Tex-Mex, we're close to Mexico, we got great barbecue, we're in the middle of that region, so there's a lot of smoke, there's a lot of jalapenos, there's a lot of spice, there's a lot of sauces. I mean, so if you want some authentic Mexican food, you want some great barbecue, we got three of the best barbecue places in this building right now. All those flavors sound good, except for this one. Congratulations to DC, uh, but it's this year is the Astros year to take it back, so woo! Uh, that's me about that. Mm -mm. I don't know about you girls. I'm hungry now. Yeah. Uh, they oh had me gosh. at lobster corn dog. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that piques my interest. Yeah. They're, they're having a lot of fun. That's what's so eating great. eating a lot. They are. <laughs> Dave, our photojournalist, sent us a photo of like a plate of ribs yeah. yesterday. So yeah. he was uh, having a little food nap in the afternoon. But food coma, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Food coma. I, what I love, though, about this Nationals team, and we've talked over and over about you know, the dismal start that they had. Yes. But you never know who's going to show up to be mm. the star. Every game, it's a different star. And Zimmerman got it started last yeah. night, and then 20-year-old Juan Soto. We've had right. Robles. We've had everybody. And that's what's so great about this team is they're playing as a team, and everybody is a star in their own right. And it's just a matter of what night. And But yeah. somebody always steps up. It's a magical team. I, I really love the story of being down less than 500 and then yeah. coming back and being in the World Series and winning the first game. I mean, that's they're awesome. I that is the beauty of any championship team that anybody can be a secret weapon and you never mm. know who. So it's like, wait, we're down. I'll step up. I got yeah. this. It's OK. I love it. I love it, too. It's just really energizing for the city. And it's yeah. fun to see the other teams in the area. We, I just saw this morning the yeah. Capitals nameplates on their uh, in their locker room. 
they put the W, the curly W oh, in there as right? well. A and the Redskins so are supportive of them. They have yeah. been amazing. Even last night they said, we know you guys tweeted out. We know you guys are watching the game, but just wanted to let you know the puck dropped here in Calgary. All right, <laughs> go back to what you're doing. They know so it's not about them us. right now. They know it's not yeah. what, what about them. So what are your plans tonight to watch game two? We, we try mm. and stay up as late as we can. Right. You can watch it free at the Nationals Park Watch Party. Gates open at 7. The game starts just after 8. But before you show up tonight, you have to sign up at Nationals nationals.com slash watch party. It's really important. We've put a link to that on our website for you to make it easy. And then after tonight, of course, the series shifts to D.C. for games three, four, and then five if necessary. And to celebrate, we're building our own dugout. That's right. That's right. At Yards Park at the Capitol Waterfront. It's just steps from the ballpark. And WSA 9 folks and all of us, we're going to be there from 4 to 8 p.m on home game day. So Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, we'll be broadcasting live. There will be giveaways, of course, a fun photo booth, you name it. So come out, see us, put on all your Nats gear starting Friday. I'm, I'm going to be there Sunday. Mary? I'm going to be there Sunday as well. We're going to be having fun. I'll Ellen? be there Saturday. I'll have to hold up the great news <laughs> on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's going to be so much fun. So come on out to the dugout and say hi to all of us. And well, Kristen, if you can't make it out to the dugout, we would love for you to join in the party online. So we <laughs> showed off some of our dugout dances. That's so embarrassing. Yesterday, now we want to see yours. Post them to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Use the two hashtags dugout dance and then also all nads and we're going to share some of the best ones throughout the week so get creative you like our swing mary i love it y'all got swag <laughs> ellen and i pretend like we know what we're we talking did about sprinkler for five minutes yeah. and is that good okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right and one last thing from last night's game people across the country can get a free taco all thanks to two nat sports stop uh short stop trey turner he stole a base in the first inning meeting a taco will be the giveaway, a free taco, is part of its Steal a Base, Steal a Taco promotion. Taco Bell hasn't announced when fans can get that free taco just yet, but we will be sure to let you know as mm. soon mm. as we mm. find out. It's all about the food this morning. We like I know. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's take a look at ticket prices. That's always in the news for the Nationals home Hi. games on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So with a win last night, no surprise, tickets are creeping back up for Game 3 since yesterday. Right now, the lowest price ticket is set at well, $700. That's better than it was before. Yeah. Um, for Game 4 at Nats Park, you're looking at shelling out at least $735 for a ticket. And then if the series does go to a Game 5, uh, it's getting a little bit better, but not by much. That lowest ticket is priced at $629 right now for all three games. Those are the lowest price tickets that are for standing room only. Does Don't not include a seat, seat for that. But no, hey, to be you, in there, yeah, yeah. If you, can you imagine it? Oh my goodness, I the can't energy. even imagine. Yeah. I cannot. If, I, if, if game five, I was gonna say, if game five becomes a clincher, those prices right. are gonna go up. But right. it's, it's, you know, they've been waiting, as they said, 15 years for this. Yeah. Um, you know, DC has been so hungry for championships, and we've been getting it the last few years with the Caps and the WNBA. So to be in that atmosphere yeah. Yeah. would just be amazing. It's it really a great would. time in DC. It All is. right, Ugh. get that curly W tonight. Bring home a two-nothing lead, and we'll be back with more great day right after this.